Hey, I'm, um, I'm, I'm mowing the lawns for free today for the Sydney Children's Hospital in Westmead. I was just wondering if you'd be interested in letting me just mow the front lawn there, sort it out. Oh, okay. Like, there's no charge. No, I, just... I, I, I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, mate, no worries. Good morning. Um, Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, so today I'm just mowing lawns for the uh, Sydney Children's Hospital in Westmead. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering if you'd mind if, uh, if I could just mow your lawn for free and film it for YouTube. Oh, do we have to pay for this? Uh, no, you don't have to pay. It's free. But if you want to oh. donate, then uh, I can send you a link for the page later. All right, no worries. Yeah, yeah all, good. all good. All good. right, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a cracking weekend. As some of you know, I've been away on my holidays. Had a blast overseas, but now I'm back to the grind. As spring has come early here in Sydney. And I was leaving for my holidays, still in winter, the daffodils were already coming out. By the time I got back, they had been and gone. The trees were in full bloom. I saw two red belly black snakes out and about and got swooped by a magpie when I was out on my run. It was terrifying. And yes, I probably looked like this poor kid right here. Well, I'm back in action and I've got lots to share today. Firstly, I'd like to announce that we have partnered with the Sydney Children's Hospital really excited about this and I thought what better way to use this platform on YouTube than to help out kids in need. I'd like to raise as much money as possible over the next couple of years. This is a long-term partnership with the kids hospital and I'm going to be doing all sorts of things throughout the year to raise money for the foundation. To kickstart off today I thought I'd try and find a messy lawn but as you can see at the beginning I was, wasn't having much luck. People either didn't want want it or they weren't home so I found this lady's lawn who I'm doing right now it wasn't the craziest but it was a good start she ended up donating $70 to the page which was lovely and got the ball rolling then I went and mowed two other regulars lawns later on in this video with 100% of the payment going to the foundation also so we're a couple of hundred dollars in at the moment another way I'll be fundraising I've signed up for a backyard ultra marathon on October the 5th. If you know me, you know that I'm a keen runner. I'm always out and about on local park runs and different events. I ran the London Marathon in 2023, where we managed to raise $3,200 for deaf and blind people. But this upcoming backyard ultra is a little different. You run, walk or jog around a 6.7 kilometer or 4.0 mile loop on the hour, every hour, until you can't run anymore or fail to make it round in time. I'm hoping I can run for over 12 hours. Let's see how we go. Are there any other crazy runners watching? Let me know in the comments. Please find the link in the description to make donations or scan the QR code on your screen right now. If every subscriber gave just $1, we could raise over $5,000. So please, any donation, big or small, would make a difference. Anyway, guys, Mozza's random facts of the day. Found some great running themed ones. The oldest marathon finisher was Fuja Singh, nicknamed the Turban Tornado. He completed a marathon in Toronto at the age of 100 in 2011. It's never too late. What a hero. Um, Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, once stated that he ate 1,000 chicken nuggets during the Beijing Olympics. Fastest man in the world. You can eat as many nuggets as you like, I reckon. Uh, the treadmill was actually originally invented as a form of punishment for prisoners in the early 19th century. Brilliant. And the naked run in Denmark encourages participants to run a race while completely naked. Crazy Danes. Anyone done the naked run? Might have done a bit of skinny dipping back in the day. I digress. Guys, if you're in Western Sydney area and have an overgrown garden, or if you've seen one that's getting really out of hand, please message me on the Mozza's Mowing Facebook page. It would help me out on my search for the next lawn. Please understand though, 
has to be has to have the right sort of filming quality so i can't guarantee i'll do it but i'll appreciate the help in finding the next video peace out guys be kind in the comments a couple of trolls have been popping up recently please don't feed the trolls thanks